now next our paragraph page number 114 means 114 114 so now there is a work of karshan bhai the work of karshan bhai marwashi village so there are uh, some story of karshan bhai work in village marwashi theek hai work of karshan bhai rajasthan hai marwashi village hai okay fair collection collective urban livelihood retail livelihood to aaj hum is topic ke bare mein to is story ke jaisa diya gaya hai jisko hum apne textbook ke zariye complete karenge और इसके बाद हम अपना जो एफ थ्री का एग्जाम आने वाले हैं आपके उसके अकॉर्डिंग उसके रिलेटेड हम कुछ क्वेश्चन हैं वो बोर्ड पे सॉल्व करेंगे ओके सो नाउ सी यो टेस्ट रेखा स्टॉक रेखा विलेज इज ए स्मॉल विलेज हर आंट लिव इन द नियर बी सिटी रेखा केम टू हर आंट्स हाउस सी वॉश डेट मेनी पीपल गेट इम्प्लॉयमेंट फ्रॉम रोड साइड वर्क Some people run a small shop of vegetable. One old lady sells vegetable in a cart. Some people run the shops of flowers and some do the work, cycle repairing on the roadside. One man is getting employment thought so shoe polish by having a small shop in the corner. There are shops of cold drinks, soda and juice and grocery on the roadside. While Rekha was standing for a short time on the roadside she found a man cleaning the glasses of vehicles and earning money one man was selling tools of cleaning one a bicycle another man go gets employment by selling drinking water on the roadside hawkers sell toys in the same way seeing a hair cutting saloon Rekha felt that all these things are available in her village also in three or four shops things which are sold in the shops of village same things are sold on road side in the cities various problems are experienced due to the road side shops and workers on the road side accidents occur due to traffic problem a person in the city may be involved with more than one work on the basis of occupation or skill Rekha noticed that a boy working in a cycle repairing shop in the in the daytime was playing drum drums in the in the bhajans during the right time so approximately to a guess 12% people out of total employment people in the city get employment from the roadside work special arrangement is made for patharna bazaar and lari gala market so that traffic problem can be solved life in the city we have discussed about the life and livelihood of the village we have discussed about the life and the livelihood of the village in the same manner it is also necessary to obtain information about business and employment in the city it is very difficult to get employment in the city let us see about the details of employment of the people living in the city there are many people around us there are many people around us each one is connected with some work each one is connected with some work various types of occupation are seen in the city various types of occupation are seen in the city many people are depended on the this occupation some people have shops while some other people are serving in these shops some people go to office some people go some people do business on the road side while some people work in hawkers some people go to the school or college to teach some people are employed in small or big jobs on the basis on the basis of their skill or an livelihood which occupation are seen in this picture which are the other occupation not seen in this picture on the basis of which skill employment is achieved which occupation would you like to have of employment so work of karshan bhai work of karshan bhai mahashri village in vav taluka in banshagar kantha district has rajasthan states and border on one side while pakistan 
border while pakistan border on the other side karshan bhai live in this village he was engaged in the carpentry work he was engaged in the carpentry work karshan bhai has been living in a nearby town named tharat tharat for 5 years karshan bhai runs rickshaw in the city and take student to school the karshan bhai the wo 5 saal tak the wahan pe town mein aur unhone rickshaw chalate the aur jisme wo se bachcho ko school ke liye take karte the city and take student to the school टूडे कशन भाई हैज़ अ टू रिक्शा और आज उनके पास टू रिक्शा है कशन भाई रन्स रिक्शा एंड गेट्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट और वो रिक्शा भी चलाते हैं और गेट एम्प्लॉयमेंट थिंग एंड से वाई वुड कर्शन भाई हैव कम टू द सिटी वॉट डिज कम कम्फर्ट वुड द फैमिली हैव इन द सिटी वॉट वुड यू डू इफ यू मोर टू मूव टू एन ओदर सिटी और विलेज डिस्कस अबाउट द बिजनेस मैन हु केम फ्राम विलेज टू द सिटी सो कलेक्टिव अर्बन लेवलीहुड नीलम्स मेटरनल अंकल वर्क इन फैक्ट्री नीलम्स जो थी वो अपने मेटरनल अंकल की कंपनी में काम करती थी फैक्ट्री इंस्टीट्यूटेड इन हक कम्पस कम्पस कैंपस ओके जो फैक्ट्री थी वो बहुत बड़े कैंपस में थी वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट कोड बी सीन ऑन इंटरिंग हेयर हेयर इज अ फैक्ट्री ऑफ मैनुफैक्चरिंग पैंट्स एंड शर्ट्स टेक्सटाइल एंड टेक्निकल डिपार्टमेंट्स वर फाउंड मोर एक्टिव देयर वर मोर देन फिफ्टी मशीन इन द अपर स्टोर स्टोरी मोर स्टिचिंग वर्क विद लेस लेबर कुड बी डन विद द दिस मशीन स्पेशल मशीन वर देयर फॉर स्टिचिंग एंड फॉर पुटिंग बटम्स टू ड्यू टू दिस मोर वर्क वॉज डन विद लेस लेबर नीलम्स मेटरनल अंकल वर्क हेयर एज ए मैनेजर ही गिव अपॉर्चुनिटी टू नीलम टू वॉच हिम वेयर द फैब्रिक कैम टू मैनुफैक्चरिंग ऑफ पैंट शर्ट एंड देयर पैकिंग क्लियर स्टूडेंट नाउ सेकेंड पैराग्राफ हेयर हर अंकल हैड टॉक विद अ ट्रेड ट्रेडर द ट्रेडर वॉन्टेड फास्ट वर्क ही वॉन्टेड वन थाउजेंड शर्ट ही सेट टू डू ओवर टाइम एंड गेट द वर्क डन फास्टर नीलम्स अंकल टॉक टू देम रिगार्डिंग ओवर टाइम एंड एक्स्ट्रा एक्सपेंडिक्चर विच वॉज इनकरेड इन दिस वर्क सो दिस पिक्चर शो द क्लोथ स्टिचिंग फैक्ट्री दिस फैक्ट्री नीलम्स अंकल फैक्ट्री वर्क इज डन इन थ्री शिफ्ट इन अर यूनिट इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर थ्री थ्री पर्सन वर्क एट द सेम प्लेस ड्यूरिंग ट्वेंटी फोर आवर इफ द वर्क इज डन फॉर मोर देन एट आवर देन एक्स्ट्रा रिमोनेशन इज अ गिवेन फॉर एवरी फॉर एवरी फोर नाउ रिटेल लिवलीहुड जैसिंस केम टू नवसारी फ्रॉम राजस्थान नवसारी फ्रॉम राजस्थान ही मेक्स चॉकलेट हेयर ही मेक्स चॉकलेट हेयर ही मेक्स वेराइटी ऑफ चॉकलेट्स ही मेक्स वेराइटी ऑफ चॉकलेट्स He works to make these item and sup supplies it to the traders. He keeps a direct watch on this work from collecting raw material to the production and distribution of the chocolates. Selling become easy when good reach to the salesmen and traders. For this, he has to remain in the special con contact of traders. Today, more than hundred people are employed directly or indirectly due to Jaising Chocolates Factory. We see many businessmen around us. Skill has great importance in getting employment in the present time. Medium of employment comes from where? How does it reach? Who consumes special notes? So now, newspaper seller, vegetable vendor. from city press from farm comes by vehicles many people use it we can get lot of information good for health so see newspaper seller from city press comes by by uh, vehicles many people use it and special note we can get lot of information means newspaper se hame newspaper kaise aati hai kaun leke aata hai kisse aata hai kitne log use karte hain aur usse hame benefit kya hai hame kya information milta hai Now, vegetable vendor from farm. Vegetable जो है vendor कहाँ से आता है Comes from where? Farm. And how does it reach? 
सो नोइ दिया हु कंज्यूम आर नोइज दिया स्पेशल नोट गुड फॉर हेल्थ तो वेजिटेबल्स फूड जो होते हैं वो हेल्थ के लिए काफ़ी अच्छे होते हैं तो यहाँ पे दिया है कि चार्ट को किस तरह से हम कंप्लीट करें फिर इन द ब्लैंक मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल इन द विलेज वर इंगेज इन इंडस्ट्रियल एम्प्लॉयमेंट सी मोर अवेलेबल इन आंसर वन और टू सेंट गिवन बिलो विच इज़ द मोस्ट कॉमन ऑक्यूपेशन इन द रूरल एरियाज फ्रॉम वेयर डू पीपल कम टू द सिटी और गेट एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंसर वन एंड टू इज तो स्टूडेंट फिलअप दिस exercise on your in your test book okay working to earn a living there are a thousand daily activities aimed at providing what we call the livelihood the livelihoods are basic axes that put the people in motion every day giving shape and identity to each home and community when everything goes well and the livelihoods are guaranteed and protected personal and family projects progress But when a disaster occurs and livelihoods are affected, efforts must be made so that people and especially those in a more vulnerable situation can recover them. My name is Ada. I'm a humanitarian worker, and I want to understand better what restarting, protecting, strengthening and diversifying livelihoods involves. In times of crisis, the mechanisms of resilience, that is to say, the ability of people to face and recover from crisis, vary depending on their culture, location, and personal situation. I'm going to ask Gina and Jay, community leaders that have gone through crisis situations, to guide us on a tour. They're going to show us the problems they have faced in the different regions of Ontario, a very diverse country. A hurricane hit this city, but in India, life can be reborn. Here, the efforts to recover the livelihoods started immediately after the disaster occurred. Getting efficient aid is key to the people affected by a crisis, such as the cash assistance delivered in India, which allows buying essential items and the delivery of vouchers that can be exchanged for tools or seeds. This will also support the local commerce. The situation in India went through shows how vital it is that the families, the civil society, governments and humanitarian organizations work together and put livelihoods at the very center of the humanitarian response in order to begin the recovery as soon as possible. This place is very arid. The rainy season is late once more and people struggle to make the most out of the water they have for their livestock, which is what feeds the population of Gobi. Here, the pastoralist capacities have been strengthened. By learning new production and commercialization techniques, they know how to process and sell milk at the weekly market. They've also increased their water storage capacities, and these families will now be more resilient to the recurring droughts. They have been able to strengthen their livelihoods. When the rainy season arrives, they will be able to store more water and have access to it when scarce. Additionally, in Gobi, they've been able to make a sustainable use of the natural resources. When acting efficiently, as in this case, people can strengthen their livelihoods and become better prepared to face any crisis. Mirsha is a small city far away from the capital surrounded by meadows with a variety of plants that bloom throughout the year. However, the sources of income are few and little had been invested to develop the already existing sources of livelihoods and the capacities of their inhabitants until a group of men and women thought about creating a cooperative of beekeepers taking advantage of a local resource little exploited before the honey the cooperative is working well the selling of honey and some derivatives such as the pollen is getting better and is becoming an important source of income In order to set up the cooperative, the entrepreneurs of Mirsha sought specific training on how to produce and perverse honey, honey derivatives, and also on marketing and management, which they received from a local entity. While the cooperative and the honey production prosper, new sources of income should be identified. So some families of the cooperative have decided that one of its members will learn to sew to work in a local workshop. Though the sewing work is something new to them, It is important to diversify the sources of income until the dream of the honey cooperative is fully running. Mm-hmm. 
In Sanjil, where the agriculture is the main livelihood, the potato is a sacred crop and has constituted the basis of their diet for centuries. The increasing recurrence of heavy rains and land erosion is threatening the crops of these agricultural populations. But a community has received support to recover the traditional technique of terrace cultivation. This traditional technique contributes to increased land productivity and crop production and reduces soil loss due to water erosion, allowing a better adaptation to the climate change. Sanjil provides a clear example of how actions for livelihoods protection should take into consideration the local traditional knowledge. This family of refugees just arrived in Emac. They need to find a way to move forward being away from home and their family and without support networks. In Emac, there are people that have succeeded in establishing their lives, which gives them some hope after having been forced to flee and suffered the consequences of a conflict. The support given by institutions and organizations is essential at this point. The delivery of checks that can be used to cover essential needs, such as paying debts, school fees, the rent, or buy medications or clothes, or even a washing machine, constitutes a relevant type of aid for these families. This support also allows families to look for new sources of livelihoods. If women spend less time hand washing clothes, they could start a small business or an atelier and support their children at school, which at the same time will contribute to help them have a livelihood in the future. In complex emergency situations, such as the one in EMAC, helping families to recover at least a part of what they lost when they had to flee as refugees helps them on the road of resuming their lives. Here we say goodbye to Jay and Gina. Thank you for sharing with us those stories and showing us that all persons have the knowledge, skills, and mechanisms to confront hard times, although their response capacities are different. Today I learned that people's capacities are the main resource to set up, strengthen, diversify, and or protect their livelihoods. However, these efforts also require proper institutional policies and processes. Livelihoods are the backbone of the person's dignity, both during a crisis and in ordinary situations. That is why it is a shared responsibility to provide the necessary resources to guarantee a dignified life to the people in a situation of vulnerability so that they can develop their full potential.